Hello again everyone, and welcome back to my channel. It's been brought to my attention recently that CentOS 6 is reaching end of life this coming November, and that makes sense because, you know, it's been out for quite some time. Now I like to think that at least the majority of you guys out there that are watching my channel that work in enterprise IT and use CentOS in production have moved on to a supported version already. But I've been working in corporate IT for a very long time and I know how it goes. There's two types of IT shops. There are those that are proactive and stay on top of these things, and then there are those that are not so proactive. And when it comes to enterprise, you know, I get it. It's not always easy to move on to a newer version and migrate everything, all your servers, all your applications over to a supported version or a newer version of your distribution. And sometimes that can be daunting. And I think almost every IT department out there, you know, all of you guys, you know that you are supposed to be running supported software. I don't think I have to tell anybody that that's watching my channel, that's common sense. But then when it comes to upper management, they may not really believe as strongly when it comes to upgrading everything or keeping up to date. That can lead to frustration. And even if you have management that understands the value of moving to a supported distro, then, you know, timelines and work overload can sometimes put a damper in that kind of thing. And I've seen it in all sides. I've definitely been there. So what I want to talk about in this video is a new product from Cloud Linux, the makers of Kernel Care. I've covered Kernel Care in a previous video. It's awesome. I use it on my servers. It helps me basically keep my servers up to date without a reboot being necessary. But they've decided to basically take the reign when it comes to CentOS 6 support and take that basically upon themselves. And, you know, these guys, they are not new to this. They've been maintaining and creating Cloud Linux for quite some time now, which is based on CentOS. So they know their way around CentOS and they're making a solution available for those of you out there that either can't convince your management team to bless a maintenance window to get things updated or you know whatever your problem may be that you're still on CentOS 6 that will basically allow you to keep your CentOS 6 installations alive for several more years and basically that's what I'm going to talk about in this video so here I have a virtual machine running CentOS 6 that I'm going to use for this demo. Now, as of the time I'm recording this video in July of 2020, I can go ahead and get updates no problem. Again, the end of life date is in November, so as of today, I can run sudo yum update, press enter. And as you can see, I have 36 packages that are currently available to be updated. And after November, I guess this part of the video can be something like a time capsule that we can look back to from a time when updates were actually available in CentOS 6 without any special repositories being necessary. So this is what it actually looks like when CentOS 6 is supported, but after November, this is not going to be the case. You know what, I'm gonna go ahead and install these updates, why not? So Y and then enter. And this will make sure that the distribution is completely up to date with the actual CentOS repositories. So I'll just accept the defaults for everything that comes up. And there we go. We are now up to date on this CentOS 6 installation as of the date that I'm recording this video. Now when it comes to the extended support from Cloud Linux, you might be wondering, what does the process look like for getting that set up? Now, I'll give you the disclaimer that this process may change between now and November, but what I'm going to do is show you what the process looks like as of the time I'm recording this video. So what I can do is go ahead and paste in the command to download the setup script. I'm too lazy to type it all, so I just added it to my clipboard. I pasted it. Now, here it is. Nothing fancy here yet. It's just wget, and we're using it to download a Python file. And I'll press enter, and it's already done. So here we have the downloaded Python file. Now, in order to run this script, we will need to become root. And now I am logged in as root. I switched over to root. And we can go ahead and get started and get this set up. So what I'll do right now is show you what the syntax for this script looks like as of today. 
Since it's a Python script, we need to run it through the Python interpreter. And the script that we will feed Python is the one that we've just downloaded. And the option we will need to use is dash dash license dash key, just like that. And then I'll go ahead and paste in the license key that was provided by Cloud Linux for this demo. And there it is. Now, obviously, you don't want to make it a habit to show your license keys for your software in the clear on a video that is going to be watched by thousands of people. But this is just a demo key, so I don't really care. Whenever possible, I do prefer to show you everything without obscuring things. And this is one way to do that. But anyway, you can see the syntax for the script is pretty simple. You just basically run Python. We feed it the script file that we've downloaded from Cloud Linux. We use the license key option and simply provide the license key. So I'll press enter. And you can see it basically happened very quickly here. It installed a package, sent to us ELS release, and then it has a version number here. And that's basically it. So at this point, if we go into the Etsy yum.repos.d directory and take a look at what's inside, we can see right here we have CentOS 6 ELS.repo. This is the repository file that is actually installed as part of that command. So if we take a look at it, we can see that it's actually a basic CentOS repository file but the interesting thing here is that we have the base URL as we normally would, but it actually has the key on there as well as part of the URL itself. It's enabled by default, and it also expects to find a GPG key, and this was also installed as part of running the script, so that way we know that it's secure, and by default, it's actually enabling the GPG check, setting that to one, to make sure that only signed packages are installed. So I'm going to go ahead and close out of here. Now if we were able to fast forward time to November of this year, we would be able to run the normal yum update command just like we normally would, and that would give us updates, but it's not going to give us any updates this time around because the actual service for the extended support for CentOS 6 doesn't actually begin until the support for CentOS 6 ends. So as of the time I'm recording this video, there are no actual packages in that repository just yet. But as soon as CentOS 6 has reached end of life and new security vulnerabilities are discovered or new updates are created for whatever reason, they'll be placed here in the repository for the extended support from Cloud Linux, giving us a new lease on life for our CentOS 6 servers. So one obvious question that might come up is what kind of package updates might you be able to expect from this service? And there's all kinds of information on their website. I'll have some links below in the description. But for example, right here on this page, if you scroll down, and right here you get some information when it comes to some of the package updates that you can expect to receive if security vulnerabilities are discovered and updates are necessary. Examples include, but are not limited to, glibc, OpenSSH, OpenSSL, the Linux kernel, and so on. And then they also have a list of other packages that can be expected to receive updates as well, as you can see right here. Now, in addition to the CentOS 6 extended lifecycle support that they're offering, they also make available a bundle, if you guys are interested, that also includes a discount on kernel care which is their reboot free service that enables you to keep your kernel updated without a reboot. And with the two services available, that means that you not only get to take advantage of the fact that your CentOS 6 servers will have extended support, but you'll also be able to install kernel updates as well with no reboot being necessary, which can actually help your uptime. If you do purchase a bundle, kernel care will be billed with a 15% discount and CentOS extended lifecycle support will be billed close to the end of life date of CentOS 6 with a 30% discount. And this offer is good for server fleets that consist of at least 100 Linux servers, and kernel care is billed for six months. When a distribution reaches end of life, it's quite frankly a situation that sucks for a lot of people. And a lot of IT teams out there are just spread very thin as it is, and it's really hard sometimes 
to just make something like a massive rollout or an upgrade happen. I mean, honestly, the correct way to handle this is to be proactive and always make sure that you always keep an eye on the end of life date of your distro and have a plan in place before it expires to go ahead and rectify that situation. But nowadays, sometimes that's easier said than done. And Cloud Linux, you know, they're a sponsor of my channel, but honestly, I can't find any other company that's willing to take this on. It's basically the only other option. Your options today are basically to get all of your CentOS 6 servers upgraded if you can. And if for some reason you can't do that, then Cloud Linux is willing to take this on and keep CentOS 6 updated for a longer period of time. And I think that it's a valuable option to consider for your organization. Maybe it might add benefit to, you know, maybe make you guys less stressed in your IT team and give you some hours back. You know, that's a valuable thing nowadays as we're all overwhelmed with the amount of work that we have to do. But anyway, let me know what you think in the comments down below. I have some awesome content coming very soon. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already done so, and I'll see you again real soon.